What's up everyone, GK King here, back with another GTA 5 video. I'm going to show you how to get the paramedic outfit in GTA Online. Now, unfortunately, I will tell you this here, the bookmark job below that you're going to have to bookmark. It is only for Xbox Series X and S for GTA Online Expanded and Enhanced. Unfortunately, there is no job for PlayStation that I could have found. But if there is one, please comment below in the description of it and I'll pin it in the comments. But now, the old gen method for getting it through the Doomsday Heist setup, that did get patched and it does not work no more. So you do have to be on Xbox Series X or S and GTA Expanded and Enhanced to get the outfit. But you will need a Rockstar Social Club account. Out. And you will need to bookmark the job below in the description. And if you had your GTA open while bookmarking that job, you will have to restart your GTA. From there, you are going to want to open up your pause menu. Go to online, jobs, play a job. And you want to go down to bookmark. And you want to go to last team standing. And start this job right here. I do have highlighted on the screen. And the link to bookmark it will be in the description below. Once inside of it, you do just want to invite your friend. But you're not going to actually do the job. You're going to see what I mean when we get inside. But it's a pretty easy glitch. So once we're in the job menu. We're just going to invite our friend and wait for him to join. Now I'm going to turn off the radio, but you don't have to. But you don't want to change any settings. I'm just going to turn off the radio just for I don't get copyright struck because of the radio in GTA. So now my friend joined. All we want to do is just confirm everything and ready up. Now that we are on this screen, we just want to ready up. We don't want to change any settings. And it will take a minute, but we will load in with the paramedic outfit. As you see, we're still wearing our personal outfit, but we'll switch over to paramedic here in just a second. As you see now, we are a paramedic. From here, you want to open the interactions menu. You're going to go to style. Accessories. Oh yeah, helmets. Change different helmets. You just want to change everything a few times, about 15 seconds or so. And then you also want to do it to illuminate clothing too as well. 15 or 20 seconds. You can put on a pair of glasses and an earpiece. To also help out, that will be great too. And then from there, you just want to open up your Xbox menu. And you just want to wait until you get kicked. So I'll be back with y'all once I get kicked for the, the game for being idle. You don't want a dashboard, but you just want to have your Xbox menu open up. You just want to wait till you get kicked for being idle. So I'll be right back with y'all when I get kicked.
All right, so as you see, we've been kicked for being idle. And we're going to spawn into a session. With the outfit on. It will take a minute for you to get inside a session. It will put you into a public session, most likely. Sometimes it will put you back into an invite-only session if you were invite-only before starting the job up. We're just waiting to get inside a session. Once we're inside, I'll let you know the final steps. As you see, we did load it in with the paramedic outfit. From now on, you just want to go to your outfits in the clothing store or in your apartment or at the mask shop. Up, and you want to save it as a personal outfit. So you just want to go to your outfits. Outfit saved. And you just choose an outfit. That you don't mind losing to delete. Eat that you don't want anymore and replace with that one. And then once you save it, you just want to flick through your save outfits a few times, re equipping the outfit to force a game save. If you don't, if you don't, you will lose the outfit by going to a different session or restarting your game. But we're not going to save this outfit yet. But I'm going to show you that my friend has it. So I'm going to go to invite only and I'm going to invite him. But I do recommend that you do use your style inside your interactions menu and just flick through your outfits a few times. Re-equip in the outfit once you save it. Okay. But you'll just name it whatever you want to. And then I'm going to show you that my friend has it. Because he got it as well. So I'm just going to go to invite only. So then he can get into my session since it put me into a public. And I'm going to invite him. And then he's going to meet up with me. Now I do still have it. Uh, for some reason I still do have after changing sessions. But I did not save this. Sometimes it does do that. But you know, really won't have it so don't count that it will stay when you go from session to session, to session. <clears throat> sometimes the game will glitch out and you'll still have it even though you didn't save it yet so you just want to make your way where one of my friends going to be at so he can, we can see that he has it or he can tell them where I'm at. And once he meets up with us, he will be able to see that he has it. Now, I did not save it. But I did put on one of my saved outfits to get rid of it. Now, sometimes, like I said, when you change sessions and you do not save it, you may still have it, you may not. But when you load back in that session after getting kicked from the job, make sure you do save the outfit. I do recommend that. So I'm just going to wait for my friend to show up here. To show to you that he has it. And that he saved it. So as you see. He has it. If y'all did find this glitch very successful. 
and y'all liked it go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to my channel turn on post notifications and join my GTA discord server and check out all featured glitches coming to the channel in the next few days and I will talk to y'all inside the next video peace out and I'm gone